Hello Paper Crafters! I'm returning with the second video of the Nelly Multi-Frame Dies. Um, it's a continuation of the other video which showed all the nice die cuts that you can make. And this was just showing how to use it in a die cutting machine. Uh, first thing I have is my score it. I really like the score it. It is my tool of choice for scoring. I've used them all. Uh, I have not used the new Martha Stewart one though. I've heard a lot of good things about it, but I don't think I'll go away from my score it tool. I cut uh, eight and a half and eleven by half to make an A2 card, and you simply just line it up uh, evenly and <clears throat> face side down. So I have it the wrong way because I want the textures side up. You just make your line indentation. And that's it for that. Perfectly scored every time, doesn't rip or tear because it bends the fibers, which is nice. And then you simply fold, and you've got a perfect fold, perfect card every time. Love that tool. One of my go to tools in my workstation. Um, now, what I'm going to do is show you how to use the tool in a die cutting. You don't have to buy the uh, Nelly Snellen the same die cutter I'm using. I'm going to use the Epic 6 from Quick Cuts. I do sell a lot of Quick Cuts product and I'm a very big Quick Cuts fan. But any die cutter you have, the Wizard, the Sizzix, um, Cuddlebug, they'll all work. You just have to play with the patterns and maybe make some um, shims to get it to work. But they can work in all of them. So you don't have to buy uh, a special die, die cutting machine. You can use whatever. So for this one I, I just thought I'd show how to do this. I, I'm just going to put my frame here. I'm going to eyeball it. I'm going to use a little bit of removable tape. If you don't have removable tape with your dies, get, invest in a roll. I know it's a little pricier than regular tape, but you can't beat it and it's reusable. And then put this on your for ready to cut. Cover it with my well-worn here um, die cutting plate. <laughs> and that is normal. I've contacted Quick Cuts and they say it's fine. Might hear some pretty awful popping noises, but it works good. And I do have a quick uh, tip for the Nellie Snellen. I have read on the internet um, that some of her dies are not cutting well and I, I don't have one that doesn't cut well. So I do have a little trick and maybe this will help you and maybe this is the trick. But just uh, run it through your cutter. Again I'm using the Epic 6 and if you need any Quick Cuts products email me because I do sell Quick Cuts. I love Quick Cuts. I just felt it give meaning that the die went through. So what I'm going to do is just reverse it and double cut it. It, it won't hurt the dye at all, and it gives it a nice crisp cut every time. And maybe that's just my secret why I get such good cuts, I'm not sure. Okay, remove my plate. And, oops, sorry about that. Kick the tripod there. <laughs> and remove the tape, and you can see the die cut uh, pretty nicely came out for this card. If you close it, you now have this perfect um, um, image. And just to give you some contrast so you can see, because I definitely would put either something on the back of this card or it, it here, it, you can just see. Now these little guys, they didn't all come out and you have to remove them by hand. That's pretty much with all little die cuts. It's not hard. They're, they are cut. It just needs some little piercing tool would be perfect if I had one here. I'd do that and finish them off. But you can see how nicely that cut. The second thing I wanted to demonstrate um, was the lining up of the notches because I've already had a few questions with that and how is that easy? Is it hard? It's very easy. You just take your dies and we'll use these two. And there are notches here. They line up and it'll be difficult for you to see them, but they are there. And what I would do, again, removable tape, because so it won't move. But what I'll do is put that down there, put one there, put another piece of removable tape there. And now line up my notches. 
And by lining up these notches, we create those center ones, which you're all intrigued by. Uh, everyone's asking me and requesting, how did you do that? Is it easy? Yep, it is. So you put that there. You've now got that secure. And put your paper on. Um, we'll line it out so we can use the negative too because the negatives I think are so pretty with this. Put that up there. <clears throat> Put on my wobbly cutting plate. Get my Epic. And insert it. And again, I'm going to go make a cut here. And you'll feel it when you hit the die. There it goes. Feel it give. Die's been cut. And I'm just going to go back and redo it. I think it's time I get a new cutting mat. This one I think has been loved a whole lot. And as you can see, I'm going to zoom in a little closer for you. As you can see, they cut out beautifully, and here's the one with the center. And again, you just saw me do that, it took seconds, and it's pretty good, centered nicely. Those notches make it, those notches make it so easy. Again, just have a piercing tool. And then here's that center one where we didn't put it in, so we kind of have um, the whole piece there. And then here's the window I was talking about for the um, card toppers, which I always think are nice. I just love shapes like that. Uh, and maybe offsetting a little bit more so you could put a, a greeting down on that side. But that's how easy it is. Um, and from the first one, we didn't remove that one with the tape when we made that card. And you can see how that came out. You can see how pretty it is to mix these up just to do things like that and layer them. That's so beautiful if you had a greeting in there, like happy birthday. And again here, just another idea. If you kind of do that and put, let's see, well this would be white on white so that's not going to look as nice, but here, let's do that. And you put that there. Had a, if I had a third color I could show you, but you get the idea. And it's very easy to use. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to email me. My email is dutchpapercrafts at gmail.com. And uh, the cost of the templates, uh, the multi-frames are $8.50. There's ovals, squares, circles, and rectangles. And I accept PayPal as payment. And postage is just actual cost. If you have any questions, please feel free to... Um, drop me a line and hope you enjoyed it and it was easy wasn't it take care bye bye